Hello viewers, welcome to your favorite channel which is uh, Elimu TV which is your station where you get to watch, learn and experience. I'm your tutor Mr. Mwangi taking you through chemistry form 3. So stay tuned and do pay attention throughout the lesson. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson you will have achieved the following. You will be able to identify the atomic number and mass number of nitrogen. Uh, from the atomic number, you'll uh, be able to state the electronic arrangement or configuration of nitrogen. And you'll also now be able to state how nitrogen occurs. So nitrogen, being an element, it's in group 7. Since it has got atomic number 9, its electronic configuration is 2,7. Since it has seven electrons in the outermost energy level, hence uh, the position in its periodic table being group number seven. It is in period two. Uh, the reason being, it is it has two occupied energy levels. So nitrogen exists. Uh, it can exist in three states depending on the prevailing temperature. So we may have liquid nitrogen as uh, illustrated in the diagram and also we may have it naturally uh, at room temperature because of its boiling point it exists as a gas. So uh, nitrogen also occurs combined with other elements giving us compounds of nitrogen. So the elements uh, may include nitrates, for example, sodium nitrate, uh, which occur nitrates, uh, which, which occur naturally uh, as rocks or minerals within the earth surface. So what are the properties, general properties of nitrogen? As a first member of group number five, yes, the gas is colorless and odorless. It has no smell. Uh, the other thing is that it forms 78% by volume in air. That is, it forms the largest percentage of the atmosphere. Liquid nitrogen acts as a current and most important use is in the manufacture of ammonia and nitrogenous fertilizers and can form large number of inorganic compounds. A major constituent of organic compounds such as amines, ammonia acid, and amides. Uh, those are the general properties of this uh, gas. In addition to that, you realize that uh, nitrogen gas is unreactive in nature. So why is nitrogen gas unreactive in nature? Let's look at its structure. Since it exists as a diatomic molecule, uh, the bond between the atoms in the molecule are very strong covariant bonds. So the strong covariant bonds, which are three of them, requires a lot of energy to be broken for now uh, new bonds to be formed with atoms of other elements. So reactions involving nitrogen have got very high activation energy, which cannot be achieved at room temperature. So at room temperature, generally nitrogen is unreactive. How else can we obtain it in the laboratory? It can be prepared in the laboratory through a process which we refer to as isolation from the air or from the atmosphere. So air uh, is isolated, you, it can be isolated using the setup shown in the diagram. So water is let in into an aspirator and the water in the aspirator displaces air out and pumps it through a uh, caustic soda or sodium hydroxide which removes uh, carbon dioxide. Uh, then the remaining part of air is passed through copper tannins, which uh, absorbs or reacts with oxygen and thereby leaving uh, the remaining part of the atmosphere forming nitrogen gas as the largest percentage. Using this process, you'll be able to realize that there are certain uh, impurities present in the gas jar containing the nitrogen gas. These impurities may include inert gases, for instance, argon. Uh, we have not also been able to eliminate uh, other impurities like dust. Uh, they could be present and other gases present in the atmosphere. 
So nitrogen, as we have said, is prepared from air as shown. Air flows into the uh, aspirator and onto caustic soda, which dissolves carbon dioxide. It is then passed through heated combustion tube containing heated copper tannins, which remove oxygen, and nitrogen is then corrected over water. Traces of noble gases are present in air, uh, it still remain as a final product. So what are some of the physical properties of nitrogen gas corrected in this experiment? Uh, starting with color, it's colorless, it's odorless, meaning it has no smell. Uh, the density is heavier compared to air, and that means it can be corrected by downward delivery. That is, the density compared to that air is the same. The density is of the of the nitrogen gas is the same, sorry, to the density of air. And that means we can't use either downward or upward delivery to correct the gas, hence we use over water. So, <coughs> excuse me. So let's see whether we have been able to get the concept of this lesson. Uh, describe how nitrogen gas is obtained from the atmosphere. And uh, number two, explain why nitrogen gas is generally and reactive at room temperature. So you can refer this to secondary uh, chemistry students book three or Patel, or you can give us a text through the numbers on your screen or visit our YouTube channel, Erimu TV, or Facebook page, or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. Once again, I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi Francis. Do stay tuned for more lessons to come.